thank you for that that photo because I want people to see this photo. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a little story about what happened between me and Vlad. I got some time because mm-hmm. I want y'all to go straight over to TashaKLive.com tonight. Okay, um, there was an episode that I did on Vlad when I it was on. I remember it was the Halloween that I dressed as Lil Boosie, and I spoke about Vlad, and it was kind of like in 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 passing and in conversation, and um, right after my Cardi B verdict. Right. He hit me, even though I had did the video months prior with a sort of like a verbal cease and desist. You need to remove a video because you defame me. I said, oh, look at him. You defiant? Okay. How? So during the video in question um, that I'm speaking about, it had to do with me talking about being in the position that I'm in and doing a lot of these stories on celebrities who necessarily break the law, like R. Kelly. Um, There's been plenty of other stories, okay? And so what happens is when we do these stories as bloggers, as journalists, as personalities, or whatever, a lot of times, a lot of the information that we get is 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 factual. Even though we're not there and we're reporting third-party information because we necessarily weren't in the room, but we have enough to substantiate and go forward with the story, okay, based on our findings, um, you know, a lot of times the feds or or state police, they end up contacting us asking for footage, asking for the, the, the receipts, evidence, okay, so that they can prove a case, right? Sometimes I've been cooperative, sometimes I haven't. It depends on how bad you've been out here up in our community right depends on how i'm feeling sometimes i may tell the lawyers get me out of it so that i i'm not a fed and they not paying me to be a fed or a police officer i am a personality period i'm not a journalist i'm a personality okay this is how i personally feel about said subjects right so and my feelings happen to be a lot strong so I, I gave an example and I said, and with all of the men, black men that have been charged after being on his platform, I said, there's probably a possibility, okay, in my opinion, that, um, you know, he's cooperating with said federal agents, right? I said, of course I can't prove it, but being someone who, who doesn't interview gang members and 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 you know, Crips Bloods and, and people who have been in the music industry that have been tied to these murders and things like that. Like, but I'm just like, but he has a whole damn platform on uh, murders and murders and more murders and more murders and beef and, 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 and just kind of, just everything involving a lot of this, this BS, this nonsense that's going on on social media. A rapper just died. BTS Savage after after appearing on his platform, right? And so I said, I got a feeling that I feel that he's been contacted by the feds and he's had to give over footage, right? And so this was my opinion. And he came right after, even though he knew I made that video months prior, but right after that verdict came in, he was like, yeah, you defamed me. I said, you know what? I talked to my attorneys. I said, you know what? I'm going to take it down. I'm going to take it down, right? Because he's you. He's you. I know my position. I'm not stupid. He got you lawyers. I'm not crazy. So I took it down. I took it down. So I said, okay, I'm going to do you this one. But in my opinion, I can't prove it, but it's not uncommon. He was like, I ain't never, ever gave no feds no footage. Sometimes you don't have to. Sometimes you make sure them questions are so leading and so very specific and you ensure that you lead your entire interview based on an incident and not as a whole. So you have to understand, a lot of times when we do interviews, I love to do interviews on people's life, right? What makes them who they are, the decisions that they make. We don't just highlight just their their you know their shortcomings. There's a lot to a person because just because a person doesn't act, that, that's not who they are, right? We all have found ourselves in situations and we've made bad decisions but that's not who we are. There's a lot that makes us who we are. But a lot of times in, in his content, he sits these rappers down, like BTS Savage, 
who is unfortunately not here with us, okay? His mother is having to bury him, right? My condolences to her. But you would think with a man probably in his 50s or more would understand that when you do interviews, you have to understand you got to take into to consideration context. You don't just sit someone down like you did with BTS Savage, right? And you only ask about an incident and you stay on that incident. Like, hey, what happened in February? This is true. During your robbery, you were robbed, right? This is how he asked questions. You were robbed, right? Yeah, I was robbed. Uh, yeah, I was robbed. What's, so you were robbed by some people that uh, uh, pretended to want a feature from you? Well, yeah. Um, so what happened? I, I And he's talking as if he has the information, right? So Because he already has it. Like, this man is pulling police reports probably. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has more details before the story starts so he can make sure that they only specifically speak on that particular incident. Didn't ask this little boy about his his uh, uh, upcoming and him being in the military, him being a father. Didn't ask him, like, in, in context, have you ever murdered somebody before? Is this your first time? Uh, this, this this Didn't ask him, like, what? How, how long have you ever wanted to be a rapper? Sat the little boy down because everybody's excited to sit on Vlad because he got 5 million views, right? 5 million followers. They get money. He has a little bag. He waving. You know, paying, come get this bag. They, they're using it as clout. Well, this is an interview. Everybody I know sits on Vlad because he either gets them real young and dumb or he gets them old trying to stay relevant, okay? But you'll never really see nobody current on that damn platform because they know, they understand, okay? First of all, these young ones is dumb and these old ones, crumbs. Listen. So, he sits the little boy down after he has had to kill somebody in self-defense in February, which means if he kills somebody in self-defense in February that tried to rob him, they just buried, his family just buried that person, right? We cannot feel sorry for him. Oh, he tried to rob him. You get what you came for, right? However, you have to take into consideration there's family that is watching this interview that is being triggered and having to relive these events because you want views. You want profit. This is what your viewers, you feel your viewers want, okay? And as a white man that's a Jew, right? And, and has backing from you know from 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 the Jews that run the media like this is this is it this is this is what sells you don't ever see him in Eminem's hood you know or any of these white rappers hoods asking them what turf wars they got going on what set are they apart you every now and then he might throw somebody in there that look like him but he understands like listen it's not it, it, it's not fun to, uh, when white folks are killing white folks. But it's more entertaining when the blacks are killing the blacks. Okay, it's a whole, it's a whole show, whole show, it's a whole experience. Okay, whole experience. And then I have the tribute interview because a lot of these are tribute in memory of interviews. Okay, now he sits the little boy down and he he's asking the boy specific questions about him defending himself. And so of course he's an up and coming rapper. He probably ain't never killed nobody before. And he's sitting on a platform that he feel all the greats have sat on. Everybody's co-signed him. Everybody sits on Vlad. And he answers specific questions just less than a few weeks ago after killing someone's family member. So you know what happens? The family members are triggered because they're having to relive these events because the man is asking, well, what if they try to slide back? Well, if they slide back, they're going to have to get what's coming, you know? And then he makes them describe in, in grave detail about what happened during the struggle over somebody coming to take a chain but the man ended up dying because he shot he shot he put a gun on him and his four-year-old son was in the house okay so this was truly self-defense but you have to understand family members are not trying to hear self-defense you killed their family member so what happens is he reignites a story while people are trying to grieve for views at 50 plus years old right Stay with me here. So now 
the family members, they feel in some type of way. You ain't have to kill him. Then you on a platform bragging about it. So then they hit the rapper and they say, we're going to come get you. So now the rapper has to act as if he's that guy. He has to defend his shit. He's, he's, he's national now, international, because he's uh, sat on Vlad. Everybody knows him. They're streaming his music. This is what comes with this. This is what they think. And so guess what happens? He posts a picture taunting the other side because he's like, y'all not going to threaten me and think I'm not going to hit you where it hurts, so I'm going to show you where your family member died. He instigated that shit. He instigated that shit virtually because he ain't in the room. According to reports, he is logging in from a computer doing virtual interviews with these rappers. Then he syncs his sound just because he knows that it's a possibility if I'm in the room with these rappers and somebody want to slide on me because I'm instigating turf wars between these rappers because he know they egotistical. He know they will do anything for clout. Let me just log in virtually and ask my questions as if I'm really in the room, but I probably don't even live in the United States of America because we don't see him nowhere. We don't see him. We, we, for all we know, this man could be broadcasting from Mars. Mars. You don't see him. You don't see him on no red carpet. You don't see him nowhere. This man is broadcasting virtually. Boosie got a whole damn uh, uh, setup in his house with Vlad on the back because he's being paid to do those interviews to keep shit going. To keep his platform going while he's virtually asking questions and is afraid to meet with these rappers because it's not a coincidence that they're either going to jail or they dying. And you're triggering family members. And I'm like, how is it that you as a white man, someone who's older, who has kids, who claims that they have a black wife and that's your, that's your, uh, 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 um, I, I guess that's your way in. So you understand what black people are going through because you're going in a black woman. So you understand what they're going through and you're instigating turf wars with kids. And now another rapper is dead because a family member felt that they had to defend the honor of their family because they felt like he didn't have to die. You didn't have to taunt me. And meanwhile, meanwhile, the white man virtually report live from somewhere else and got another young, dumb one, immature one, trying to get on, and he knows exactly what sells his platform. And how could you? Like, how y'all y'all mad that I, y'all saying I'm breaking up families by interviewing side holes and mistresses and stuff like that. No, 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 this is life, okay? Ain't nobody died as a result of my platform. Ain't nobody went to jail, well, well, R. Kelly. But li listen, no, not going to win. Because we don't, I don't play those games. You have to understand, it's kind of like minding your business. Why would you want to instigate that? It's like, and then you ask, like, listen to his interviews. Look, we're giving him clout. Now listen to it. Watch how he leads the guests. Won't even let him veer off. Won't even ask him, so you grew up in, in, in Houston? And what's your, what's your, what kind of sports you like? Oh, uh, you, so you went in the military for you? There was so much he could have asked this young rapper, but he only asked him about a police report that was still fresh. About a body that haven't even decayed yet because it just happened in February, about a family who's still grieving, and yet you're walking them through a series of events, having them relive that, and now they've just initiated based off of emotion because you wanted the views and you wanted the in-memory of interview because you know that's what's going to ultimately sell your YouTube check and your Patreon. But you won't show your face to them rappers. But you black because you dipping in black pussy. 